the First Coast's most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by Weather Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. Hurricane Milton is a extremely strong category five hurricane. Yes, as of the 11 o'clock advisory, those sustained winds are down a bit, but it's still a category five. It only weakened because it went through an eye wall replacement cycle. Now let's take a look at the cone because you'll see that it's still expected to stay a category five throughout Tuesday. And then from there, as it approaches the coast of Florida, the Gulf Coast of Florida, we will see those wind speeds drop back some. However, unfortunately, it is still expected to make landfall perhaps near the Tampa Bay area as an extremely strong, extremely dangerous category three hurricane. And then it will cross over the state still as a hurricane exiting out into the Atlantic, likely still holding on to at least a category one strength. So as it's passing by to the south, hopefully the center to the south of us, but right near portions of the first coast. Look at that. It's a sustained wind still right around 80 miles an hour by Thursday morning. So you can see the models are still a little bit spread out, but they're starting to agree more on that Tampa Bay area for a landfall and then it will cut across the state and it will be a larger storm at that point. So a good portion of Florida and even some portions of coastal Georgia might see some impacts from this storm, this hurricane. And that is why there are tropical alerts all across the first coast. We do have a hurricane watch in effect for Nassau, Duval, St. John's, Clay, Putnam, Flagler counties and uh, for Putnam and Flagler counties as well. And then we also have this tropical storm watch for places inland and that does include portions of southeast Georgia. So when it comes to sustained winds, we're expecting sustained winds of 40 miles an hour all up and down the coast, and that means that bridges could close. Then for St. Augustine to Palatka and Point South, you could have sustained winds of 60 miles an hour. That means we'll have widespread trees down, the power will be out. Gusts could be stronger than that. Gusts of 60 miles an hour possible across portions of Duval. And then from St. Uh, Augustine to Palatka and Point South, we could have wind gusts of 80 miles an hour. For rainfall totals, we won't rule out the high end possibility of 15 inches of rain from St. Augustine along the coast and then south, maybe eight inches of rain for portions of Duval through Clay County and through Putnam County, and then around four inches of rain up through coastal southeast Georgia, about an inch of rain for those of you in inland southeast Georgia, places like Waycross. As for storm surge, the National Hurricane Center saying coastal areas could see one to maybe three feet of storm surge. And then as we head farther south, places like St. Augustine and over towards Putnam County along the St. Johns River, if we get a storm surge of four feet, which is possible, and you get the high end rainfall amount of 12 inches of rain, that means waters could be water could be entering homes, could be entering businesses because of the combination of that storm surge and that rainfall. That's along the St. Johns River, our estuaries and our intercoastal waterway. So again, all through Putnam County and then Flagler and St. Johns along the intercoastal waterway. We'll be watching out for that surge in combination with the rain. This evening, we have some showers that are moving through are the southern areas and the winds trying to pick up a little bit at the coast. Mayport has a wind of 14 miles an hour. Now, as we head into tomorrow, we'll see those winds continue to pick up out of the northeast 15 to 20 miles an hour with some passing showers, but you can still finish your preparations tomorrow with these winds. Make sure that you have everything that's battened down outside. Anything that's a loose item that could fly away that does include Halloween decorations, make sure that they are secure. And then Wednesday, especially Wednesday night into Thursday morning, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, the worst of the weather will arrive for us.